Hello, everybody out there. So for today's video, I'm going to try and make it short and sweet. It is going to be one piece of advice for guys on first date. And I guess if you're a woman watching this video, it is a piece of advice for you of something to think about, I guess. But mostly for guys, not going to lie. So before I hop into the actual amazing piece of advice that I truly believe is a, uh, is a, is a slight game changer in dating, for the men out there, if you can real quick go down to the bottom right hand corner of your screen and hit the, no, not like and subscribe, but if you could hit the share button, that'd be great. Whether you share it now, share it at the end, be greatly appreciated. Uh, if you can share it with somebody personally, let them know the channel, link them, tag them, whatever it is, please share the video because the whole idea of doing this video is for the greater than movement is to help improve a hundred million people's lives in a multitude of different ways. And for this exact video, it is for dating. So hopefully it helps people in that way as well. If you guys want to like, subscribe, you definitely can. I appreciate the support. I'm never going to ask you not to, but I just don't like asking people to because every video you watch on YouTube says it and I don't want to be like everybody else. And hopefully you do not either. So hopping into the actual video, my one quick piece of advice, and this will be a short video, I promise, for the guys out there. And I have said it in other videos, but I really want to drive the point home because it's been bothering me a lot because I have uh, <laughs> I have had someone tell me a story recently and I gave them, gave them this exact advice and I'm going to share it with everybody else very, very directly. So <clears throat> what I'm going to say is when you go out on a date, with women, whether you don't take my other advice on first dates and you go out to dinner or to lunch or to breakfast or to whatever, even though those are bad dating ideas or you go out to do bowling or to an arcade or just to get drinks at the bar, when you get to the end of the date, especially if you're getting food or if you're getting drinks, I'm telling you right now, please pay attention. This is very important and you don't have to take my advice if you don't want to, but I promise you, excuse me, it'll save you a lot of time is if at the end when you go to pay, the woman does not grab for her card, grab for her wallet, grab for her purse, offer to pay, offer to split, offer to pay for her individual drinks, food, whatever it is, then I am telling you this with my wholehearted heart, you're done. There is no date two, there is no date three, there is no more talking, there is no more texting. If they are not doing some form or actual action of offering to pay or attempting to pay or going for their wallet or offering to split it, you're done. I know it sounds super harsh and I'm sure the people out there that are hearing it right now, they're like, that's complete bullshit. No, it's not. I'm telling you confidently that at the end of the day, when you go out on a first date, you can have the intention of paying. And it's okay if you do pay. You don't have to split. You don't have to split anything. You don't have to let them pay. But what I, in the guy, as the guy, you can pay. I like to pay on a first date. But you don't have to if you don't want to. You can go either way. But if they're not offering or doing or trying to reach for their wallet, doing something, again, I know I'm saying it over and over, but I'm telling you, you're done. The reason being is because when people care about you on just a human level, they have respect for you, they've enjoyed the date, they've enjoyed going out with you, they want to go out with you again, and in addition to, they actually are going out because, you know, they have some form of money, they have the idea like, oh yeah, maybe I need to pay, or at least I can offer to pay, or split it, whatever, like, and they're in a position where they actually can continue to go out on dates with you backslash they are interested in you they think that you're a good person they again they, they enjoyed their time with you they're just a holistically on point good human being they're gonna do one of those things but when they don't they're either taking advantage of the situation they're just going out with you because they want free drinks they want dinner because i've heard of women doing that i have met women who do that and that is its own thing that i'm not going to get into but you don't want to go out with people like that again you just don't you don't want to go out with people that don't have the mentality that, yeah, man, I have a lot of money, but if I'm going to go out, then I have responsibility to take care of my own bill. It's not this other person's responsibility. I am an individual and I will take care of myself. I am somewhat independent and I will be okay. Because if they're not independent, again, you don't want to, you don't want to deal with it. You don't want to do it. It's not worth it. And in addition to, even if they aren't taking advantage of the situation, they do have money and they're not offering, they don't have the common decency or respect to offer, to go for their wallet, to actually pay for half, to do anything, say anything, they don't care. They don't care about you. They don't care about your time, your money. They don't respect you as a person. They didn't have that good of a time. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. I'm telling you right now, you will save yourself so much time and so much BS and also just avoid women who are falling into any of these areas and camps because that's 
95% of them that are not doing or offering or trying to do anything fall into one of those camps. And it is a waste of your time. It is a waste of your money. It is a waste of your effort. Those are not the women that you want to go out with ever again. So I implore you, you can pay, but if they're not offering to pay, split, grabbing their wallet, you're done. 100,000% you're done. Because at the end of the day, they fall into one of those camps. It's not positive. It's not, ne it's, it's not negative. It's not positive. It's all negative. It's not good. That is my piece of advice. Super sheet, super short, super sweet. It is uh, something I've said before. And again, it is, I think it is a game changer because those are not the women that you want to go out with again, no matter what camp they fall in. And if they are that 5% who is in one of those camps, then I would say the same thing that it's, it's, those are the anomalies. So same thing, just across the board, make it a rule. If that's the situation, you're done. Take this advice. I swear to you, you will not waste your time, you will not waste your money, and you will not continue to go out with somebody who's just uninterested or just doesn't have the human decency or respect to at least offer. So that's the video. Hopefully it is a little controversial, a little helpful, a little inspirational, a little bit of words of advice and positivity, some positive light out in the universe. And hopefully it helps you again, save your time, save your money, and actual, actually find quality ladies, women, girls to go out with more than once. So sorry guys, so hopefully, again, if it's helpful, please share the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Uh, if you have a friend out there who's just continuing to go on crappy first dates or go out with women who are just running them up and down and they're spending a bunch of money and wasting their time and money on them, share the video with them too. At the end of the day, guys, stay healthy, stay safe, and remember, above all, be greater than. Talk to you guys real soon.